Now, I'd be lying if I said Fool isn't nervous about entering this special place. He has explored most corners of this strange old tower, but this room is one of the few that makes him feel, well, like he's in the presence of something greater, some higher power. You can feel it in the walls, in the air, and in your mind. Fall is just beginning to exhale when a female voice comes to life in his mind. The voice, though telepathic, has a quality akin to hearing and feeling the vibrations from a headset only deeper within one's head. Welcome, little bear, the voice says, a purring quality evident in its accent. Fall cannot speak. He finds himself in awe. Before him is night, ebony black. He floats with only one hand on the cold, metallic granite, or stone, or whatever dark material the pyramid is made from this week. You do not have to speak, little one. I can read your mind, and I know what it is you seek. If you seek, then you shall find. The voice resonates in his mind, echoing as if it were coming at him from different angles. You, you know why I've come here then? Fall asks, turning his head this way and that, in vain attempts to locate the source of the voice. I know what it is you seek, that which you feel you need. I also know there's a part of you that's still out there in your room, safe at night, under blankets of white, nothing to fear. The voice sings his teddy bear song in his mind. I, I need to get off this ship. I can help them, but I need some help first. You've got to help me. I need to show them, to make them recognize that I'm an important part of this team. I know I shouldn't feel this way, but you know what's inside me. How great I could be, should be. Just give me a little bit of that, that mojo, whatever it is. And you feel you've earned this mojo, that you deserve it. I deserve it, yes. I can fight. I can, I can make a difference, and this should have happened a long time ago. With your lack of memory, little bear, this recognition you seek could have already come and gone, and you wouldn't even know it. Fall feels guilt welling up within him, but pushes it back down. I know the power is here, and I know I can use it, if only I can get it. But they'd say I should wait. Wait for what? How long must a man wait? I know you feel the conflict within you. Part of you hesitates to do this, because you ought to follow orders. To hell with that part of me, Fall says. Look, I need your help to go on a mission, to find and save someone. Ninin Shu is her name. So why not just leave the tower, as you all normally do, she asks. You know why, you must know. Yona is forbidding any of us from going there right now. He has also forbidden you from entering this holy sanctum, has he not, she asks. A soft warm wind passes through Fall. Use the ring on your finger. The abrupt change of subject causes Fall to unconsciously stare down at his hand. Confused, he simply asks, ring? Yes, the one on your finger, my dear Ursa Minor. Ursa what? He asks, Ursa, yes, the ring on your finger, that's right. I can charge it for you, attune it. You'll be safe that way. Consider this a little gift from me to you, to light your way. Light my way, he asks, his eyes wide with wonder. On your journey now, your mission, little bear. A burst of white light emanates from his hand. His ring radiates a brilliance, like an arc welder's torch but it quickly dims to a soft yellow glow and then fades to black. Without the light, Fool's other senses come into play again. His nose, for example, detects something in the air, antiseptic, a little bitter, with undertones of the artificial fragrance found in soaps and cleaners. Now, on your way, secret agent, little spy bear, on your journey, on your mission, on your own. Then silence, accompanied by the strange smell, the perpetual darkness, and the bit of wall that Fall uses for support as he bobs up and down, 
hand anchored at the corner of the entryway to the room. Silence gives way to a soft roar, perhaps distant applause. No, it's different. It's rain, rain on a roof just overhead, growing in intensity with each passing second. Yes, it's raining, but then something drastic occurs that pulls, falls complete concentration away from the rain. Fall is falling, 